Louis, let's start it off with you. There was, was quite a lot of volatility in the markets early February. Is that it or will it spread? Well, in short, we think that uh, obviously fundamentals are fine, if not strong, especially in Europe. But uh, we think that uh, despite the small corrections observed uh, early February, we think valuations are still excessive. And most importantly, technicals, uh, including liquidity, which is at very thin levels and some imbalance by, you know, in particular uh, in the credit markets where ETF are holding up a large position in very illiquid assets. We think that we might be we might see much more severe correction in the months to come. Uh, Vincent, where do you, I mean, when you look at your research, what is the one piece of data, whether it's uh, the economy or actually inflation, that you wish you'd understood better? Well, definitely um, inflation. Uh, central bankers themselves say they're not sure uh, they completely understand inflation. Uh, you know, I think we're coming from 2017 when inflation surprised to the downside consistently to 2018, where we've had a couple of upward surprises, especially in the US. And I think I agree that the, the economy remains strong, but I think the growth inflation mix is somewhat deteriorating because growth is strong, but it's no longer accelerating, especially Europe, for example. We see that the PMIs, for example, are plateauing or uh, putting back a bit. And at the same time, inflation is rising, at least in the US, but even in Europe, we do see some cyclical pressure in the pipeline. So that growth inflation mix is de deteriorating yeah. and probably is going to make markets more volatile and more difficult in 2018 indeed. But that would be, Vincent, because what the market is misinterpreting what the Fed is saying or because actually a higher inflation print, much higher inflation print could, could bring the Fed to hike maybe four or five times? Yeah, you know, at that point, um, I don't think the Fed is going to change its stance because the Fed has been saying, we are looking for inflation to normalize and converge towards target. And on that basis, that's what we expect to do. So we're moving there now. The risk is that at some point, um, as inflation gets closer to target and they look at the future possible outcome, uh, they decide to shift to a, a slightly more hawkish stance. And typically, uh, the medium term dots could be moving to the upside. There is quite some, quite some room for that.